everyone and welcome back to the Nozo. This is the place where we have a lot of fun and we laugh while we learn. My name is Wanja. I'm Charlie. And oh Marara! <laughs> Why are you wearing a doctor's mask, Marara? Well, I was reading about diseases before the show mm. and I read that there are some diseases you can catch through the air. <laughs> They're called airborne diseases. Uh, Marara, I'm sure that the no zone is also a safe zone, so you don't have to worry about any of those airborne diseases catching up to you. Besides, we're going to chill our zone, and I'm sure our studio guests will want to see your face. Oh, studio guests? Yeah. Let me go and get rid of this. All right, then we'll see you later. Now, while Marara goes to take his mask off, as he said, our studio guests are waiting patiently for us in the chill out zone. Why don't we go and say hi? Come on. Hello, everyone. I hope that everyone is well. Yes! Very good. Let's say a big hello to all the people who are watching us at home. Hello! Well, hello, everyone. Hi, hello. Marara. Marara. Well, I'm so sorry I'm late. I hope I haven't missed anything. Oh, no, no, no. You're just in time. Our studio guests were just about to tell us what today's Nozone buzzwords are. Uh -huh. Oh, I know what today's Nozone buzzwords are. They're all about diseases. You're right. You're right, Marara. So, which ones are they? That. Vomit. Nas. Typhoid. Medicine. Now, we'll be asking you to listen out for these buzzwords throughout this program because you'll be hearing them. That's right. But for now, it's time for us to go to Makutanu Junction and join our friends there and see what they're up to. It's time for... Junction Juniors! I'm bored of staying in Makutano on Saturday. Yeah, even me. If you had lots of money, you would have used it to throw a big party and invited all the kids in Makutano. If we were to raise 5,000 shillings among seven Junction Juniors, how much will each contribute? Easy. Just have to do long division. So. Can seven go to five? No. Can seven go to 50? Mm -hmm. How many times? Seven times. Because of 49. When you subtract, you get one, you drop zero. I just wish we had all the money, then we'd throw the party. James, you always save the day. A party sounds like a super idea. Super idea, and you don't have all that money to such a party. What if we went to the animal orphanage? I love animals. I love animals, but they scare me. Don't think they love me back. <laughs> Yes! Yay! Ah, 
чуть-чуть вот так. Talking about. Uh, we were looking for a plan for tomorrow. We don't sit in the hideout. Oh. Yeah. What about a picnic? It's a nice idea of doing something different. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That's a good, good idea. Yeah. 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 My mom made all these pancakes for all of us. Yeah! yeah. My grandma made sweet potatoes and arrowroots for us all. Sweet potatoes? Arrowroots? Are you mad? My grandma says they're very nutritious. Arrowroots and sweet potatoes make the body stronger. Okay, who's gonna tell him? Yes. Here's the thing. Children don't take sweet potatoes and arrowroots for picnics. Children prefer junk food and sweet stuff for picnics. Mm -hmm. I think you should go see a doctor. You've not been well since yesterday. I don't need to see a doctor. I don't trust them. Maybe some water will help you. You don't really need to go to the hospital. Trust me, it's not one of the nicest places to be. I think you really need to see a doctor. Not all of them are bad. Yeah, I've met some doctors that are very supportive of my mom. She's having a very hard time living with the HIV virus. It's nothing. I'll be OK. Your friend will be fine. What exactly is wrong with him? I'm sure these are signs and symptoms of malaria. Yes, my dad got malaria once and he had the same symptoms. It could be malaria, but we're not sure of anything yet. The only way we can know for sure is by running some blood tests. That's why it's important to come to the hospital anytime you feel unwell. I'm sure Babu will be fine. Why don't you go back to your picnic and uh, pass by later? Besides, I've called Babu's dad and he's on his way here so he won't be alone, okay? Yeah, let's go and eat. I'm starved. We'll pass by in a few hours. Thank you, Nasty. You're always Bye. welcome. Bye. Bye. I hope Babu feels better. Yeah. I hope it's not easy. It's just a phone call! Yeah. What? Uh -uh. Oh my God. Like what? Take them to hospital. Oh. Uh -uh. I am not taking these people who stole my food to hospital. They need our help. If we help them still. We are the junction juniors. We help people regardless. Fine! It's good 
you butt those two in. Where's Babu? Babu went home with his dad. We gave him some medicine which will help him recover quickly. We discovered that he had a small bout of typhoid. If he didn't get checked when he did, he could have gotten very ill. How did he get typhoid? Well, he had eaten some fruits straight from the market without washing them, which is very dangerous. You should always wash your fruits and vegetables with lots of clean water. And although diseases can't be seen, they can be picked up through contact. That's why it's important for you to wash your hands every time before you eat. So if we wash our fruits, we're safe? Yes. And also learn to eat healthy foods that will help build your body and boost your immune system, like arrowroots or green leafy vegetables. Well, let me attend to those two naughty boys who decided not to wash their hands before eating. Remember, always wash your hands with soap and water before you eat. You know what? Here are some sweets for being very good today. Well, boys, an injection each will do just fine. <laughs> been a day and a half. Yes, it has. I wonder how Freddy and Namus are going on after the injections. <coughs> too hot. Ow. I wonder about eating too many sweets. Now you see, you have a toothache. These are for later. We should be heading home now. And thanks for being there for Babu. And of course, Amos and Freddy. Well done. Yay! Yay! Wow, I'm really glad to see that the Junction Juniors learned how important it is for you to eat healthily. Did you all enjoy that? Yes! Yes, me too. I liked the way the Junction Juniors helped Babu and even Freddy and Amos. Mm -hmm. You're right, Marara. Now tell me, did you hear any of the buzzwords? Yes! Which ones were they, Emmanuel? I heard the word that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Good. Aching. They went to get help from Nurse Kate. That's right. Helen? I had the word medicine. What else did you learn, Ima? I learned that you should always help even if the person has done wrong to you. I learned that you should be clean and careful when making food. Very good. Yes. Now I know all about healthcare and how to prepare food in a hygienic way. Well done. I can see that everyone has learned a lot. We all know what that sound means. It's time for... Cool Words! Good to see that everyone is eager and ready to learn. Today we are going to learn about countable and uncountable nouns. Well, today's lesson sounds very easy. Countable nouns are things that we can count. For example, we can count pens. I have one, two, three pens. Mm -hmm, very good. Countable nouns are things that we can count. Can you give me other examples of countable nouns? Yes, Ima. Dog. Mm -hmm. Yes, Misango. Coin. Uh -huh. Someone else? Oh, I, I know one, I know one. Yes, Marara. Table. Someone else? Yes, Yvonne. Box. Excellent. All the noun examples you have given are in singular form. However, countable nouns can be in singular or plural form. For example, I can say, my pen is red, which is in singular, and it becomes, my pens are red in plural. Now, what about this sentence? My dog is hungry. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Yes, Marara? In plural, it will be, my dogs are hungry. Well done, Marara. There are also other words which we must use when our countable noun is in singular form. These words are 
Ah, an, the, my, this. For example, we say, I want a tablet, and not, I want tablets. Oh, I see. I should say, where is my bottle, and not, where is bottle. <laughs> You're right, Marara. Now, these words make a sentence sound correct. Now, who can give me other examples using a, an, the, my, or this? Yes, Cheng? I love this hat. Anyone else? Yes, Ngagu? Who stole my biscuits? Someone else? Oh, I know, I know, Teacher Pendo. Yes, Marara? The hen laid an egg. Excellent. Someone else? Yes, Emmanuel? Have you got a sweet? Now, this rule changes when the countable noun is in plural. We can either use the noun by itself or we can use other words with the countable nouns. For example, I love this hat becomes I love hats or I love these hats. Other words we could use are some, any, a few, many. Now, let's use these words in the sentences that we just said. Yes, Ngagu? Who had some biscuits? Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Achen? The hens laid many eggs. Yes, someone else? Yes, Emmanuel? Have you got any sweets? Now, let's look at uncountable nouns. Oh, oh, oh. I know what they are. They are things we cannot count. <laughs> You're right, Marara. But it's not just things, but concepts and ideas as well. Now, who can think of some nouns that we cannot count? Yes, Ima? Milk. Mm -hmm. ooh, Someone ooh, else? Ooh, ooh, teacher Fendo. Yes, Marara? News. Uh -huh. Someone else? Yes, Misango? Sugar. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yvonne? Water. Now, it's important to note that we usually treat uncountable nouns as singular. For example, we say, this news is important or a piece of news. Oh, uh, teacher Pendo, we cannot count milk either, but we can count bottles of milk. Can you think of other examples of uncountable nouns which become countable when we think of them as a specific quantity? Yes, Emmanuel? Two bags of sugar. Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Ngagu? Five grains of rice. Excellent. We can also use some, any, a little, and much with uncountable nouns. Oh, 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 I know one. I have got some paper. Anyone else? Yes, Ngagu? Have you got any sugar? Mm -hmm, very good. Someone else? Yes, Cheng? I don't have much money. Good. Another very important point to remember is that sometimes the same noun can be countable and uncountable, often with a change of meaning. Now, let's look at these sentences and read them out together. I'd like everyone on this side to read the first sentence which has countable nouns and everyone on this side to read the second sentence which has uncountable nouns. So let's start. I, I thought, thought I had a noise. Mm -hmm. There is too much noise to work. Very good. How about the next sentence? Have you got a paper to read? Mm -hmm. I need some paper to draw on. Oh, I see now, Teacher Pendo. Now, in these sentences, the nouns in blue change from countable to uncountable, depending on the meaning it's been given. Right now, let's catch up with my speedy in Out There. Today we are visiting a very special hospital and we will find out what usually happens here. Doctors are very important people in our society. They make people feel better when they are sick. Did you know that there are some doctors who have specialized in treating children only? Come on people, let's find out what happens here. Let's meet Dr. Wahoo. Dr. Wahoo works here and she tells me that she loves attending to children just the same way she loves her work. In a day, Dr. Wahoo and her colleagues attended to over 100 children. While some are brought here for regular checkups, others are here to be treated for different ailments like typhoid, cough, asthma, or even stomach ache. Gabriel is one of them. 
The doctor says that Gabriel has been having fever, headaches, and even vomiting. And these are most common symptoms of malaria. The nurse has to check his temperature and weight. The normal temperature, I'm told, is supposed to be 37.2 degrees Celsius. It is also very important for the doctor to do further checks on the body. This includes the eyes, the mouth, and even the ears for any foreign objects. Finally, with the doctor's report, it's time for me and Gabriel to visit the laboratory. So Gabriel is going to be tested for malaria. It's going to be all right, Gabriel. Relax. Oh, he's afraid of injections just like me. The laboratory is a room where testing is carried out. The blood sample is smeared on a piece of glass and labeled properly to avoid confusion. The technician uses a microscope. A microscope is an instrument used in viewing very small objects. For example, the malaria parasites. It makes the parasites appear bigger and one can easily see them. The laboratory person has to keenly observe Gabriel's blood sample to check for any malaria parasites. After some minutes of observation, the results are out. It is confirmed Gabriel has malaria, and now it's time to get some medication. But the doctor tells me that there are some drugs that have been phased out due to their high resistance. So when you are getting medication for malaria, make sure you get drugs that reduce the resistance. Thank you. God bless, thank you. However, because malaria is caused by mosquito bites, you could prevent it by simply sleeping under a treated mosquito net. I am going to make sure that Gabriel takes his medications well and that should be after meals. Bye for now. I'm very pleased to see that Gabriel got the treatment that he needed. Yes, and of course, Maspidi is right. There are a lot of things we can do to avoid catching malaria, like sleeping under a treated mosquito net. Yes, and it was very interesting to see how things worked in the lab. Huh? Uh -huh. Speaking of work, I think it's time we should go and have a little workout that includes sums and includes running because it's time for... Number Run! Yay! Now, this is a game that we invented so that we could help Marara with his math. Oh, yes, I need as much help as I can get. Now, the game is very simple. On the blackboard, there are three sums. Now, just like this example sum right here, there's a little something missing. Now, all our number runners have to do is solve the sum and go and search for the solution in the number pit right here. Now, we didn't want to make it too easy, so you have to look for the solution among all these numbers. Now, once you find the solution, like so, you go back to the blackboard. Now, when you get here to the board, you need to make sure that you put your number in the correct position like this, where the question mark is. Please make sure you don't get your numbers mixed up because the moment this number is here on the board, it's stuck, which means you cannot change it. That's right. Now, once you've solved the sum, it's time for you to run, run, run across to your teammates and tag in the person to do the next sum, just like this. Now, there is a catch. You have three sums to solve in just 45 seconds. So, we all need to cheer our runners with the correct answers, all right? Yes! Very good. Excellent. Now, with the number one, speed is everything. Because if you do manage to solve the three sums within 45 seconds, Marara has these lovely, lovely maths books that he will let you take back to your school. 
Are the rules clear? Yes! Are you ready to play number one? Yes! Excellent. Very good. So who is our number one and number one? Helen, that's you. Very well, step forward. All right, let's put 45 seconds on the clock and reveal the first sum. 12 plus 8 is what? Go. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
The female ground hornbills lay eggs which hatch into baby ground hornbills. Don't worry, they look much prettier once they grow some feathers. Young ground hornbills have small white wattles and the area around their eyes is white as well. As they get older, the wattles grow larger and become red. The female ground hornbills then leave to start their own families, but the males stay and help their parents take care of the younger chicks. It is the duty of every member of the family to help feed and protect the young chick. Due to cutting of trees and pollution of environment by humans, the ground hornbills are dying and becoming less in number. It is the work of rangers like you and me to protect the environment so that these beautiful birds can live in a safe environment and not die. We can do it nose on rangers. Let's protect our animals and our environment. Until next time, bye! What an amazing bird. Did you all enjoy that? Yes! I did not know that there was a bird like the ground hornbill. Uh, did you know? Oh, yes, I did. And Ranger Rukia is such a great teacher. I'm learning lots of things about the wild. <laughs> That's right, Marara. We all know what that sound means. It's time for... Heart Number! Welcome back to Hot Numbers. Today we are going to learn about long division. But Teacher Pendo, we have already learned about divisions. Yes, we have, but we dealt with simple numbers. For example, what is 32 divided by 4? Yes, Cheng? 8. Aha, very good. And how did you come to that? I know 32 is a multiple of 4. And, and 4 times 8 is 32. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. Mm -hmm. Very good. Clap for her. <laughs> so as I was saying, we are going to be learning about long division. We use long division if the numbers we are dealing with are bigger than the multiples we are used to. Now before we begin, who can tell us what is very important to know when dividing numbers? Yes, Ngangu? Your times table. Aha, yeah. very good. Without knowing your times tables, it's going to be very difficult to do your division sums. Multiplying can be described as adding in a sequence, while dividing, which is the same as sharing, can be thought of as repeated subtraction. Now, Teacher Pendo, what do you mean by repeated subtraction? Let me give you an example. I can divide 30 by 6 by taking away 6 as many times as I can. So 30 minus 6 is 24. 24 minus 6 is 18. 18 minus 6 is 12. 12 minus 6 is 6. And 6 minus 6 is 0. So you can see I subtracted 6, 1, 2, 3, four, five times to arrive at zero. So 30 divided by six is five because I subtracted six five times. But Teacher Pendo, if we had a big number, that would take ages. That's why I'll teach you how to divide using the long method. What is 84 divided by four? Ooh, 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 yes, ooh. Marara? Oh, I only know my table up to 12 multiplied by 4, which is 48. Don't worry, we will do the sum together. So this is how we write 84 divided by 4. So these are the steps you need to follow. The first step, you divide the 8 in the tens place by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is... Yes, Helen? Two. Very good. So we write the 2 in the tens place above the 84. And then we write an 8 here and draw a line across. We then subtract 8 from 8, which is? Zero. We write zero and bring down the four. Step four, we divide the four ones by four. And what is the answer? Yes, Kajole? 
One. One. So we write the one in the ones place above 84. And then we write a four here and draw a line. And then we subtract four from four. And what do we get? Ooh, 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 it's Japendo. Yes, Marara. Get zero. Aha, uh -huh, very good. So our sum is complete. So 84 divided by four is 21. Let's do another long division sum. And this time I'd like you to provide me with the steps and the answers. Let's do a much bigger number. So 236 divided by two. So who can give me step one? Oh, oh, oh it's Japan, it's Japan. Yes, Marara. Okay, now step one, divide two hundreds with the two to get one. Write one in the hundreds place above 236. Okay. And write two below. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, what is the next step? Yes, Acheng. Subtract two from two to get zero. Bring down three to get three tenths. Uh -huh. What do we do next? Yes, Ima. Two goes into three one time. So write one in the tens place above 236. What is the next step? Yes, Emmanuel. Subtract two from three to get one. Bring down the six and combine with one. So I bring down the six to combine with the one. And what do I get now? Yes, Kajole? 16. You will now divide 16 by 2. So I divide 16 by 2. And what is 16 divided by 2? Yes, Helen? 8. We will write 8 in the ones place in above 236. OK, so I put 8 in the ones place above 236. And finally, we subtract 16 from 16, giving us what? Zero! Very good. So our answer to 236 divided by 2 is 118. <laughs> oh, I get it now, Chapendo. Thank you for making long division so easy. Right now, it's time for something different in Adzone. <laughs> Hi kids, welcome to Art Zone. I have a friend here, he's called Mr. Socks. Today we're going to do something a bit different and watch a video of a band called Just A Band and they've done a video using Friends of Mr. Puppet here. I hope you enjoy it. Hey,
Well, kids, I hope you enjoyed the video because I did and Mr. Socks here also did. So, see you next time on Art Song. Bye. Wow, that was a really good video. Did you enjoy that? Yes! Yes, yes me too. I love Art Zone. And I learned that art is not always about paper and paint. It <laughs> can be also about music. Yes, you're right, Mara. That's true. I think I want to become a musician mm. and make music videos. Become a star. Aha. Uh -huh. But anyway, right now it's time for us to do something a little different. Yeah. It's time for you to put your brains in gear. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us to get a little serious. Because it's time for our spectacular spelling competition. It's time for Spell It. Animal, animal. chapter, building, narrow, building. respect, respect. deep, vegetable, work. 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 work, work. Welcome to Spell It. Now, Ngangu, Yvonne, and Ima, you are about to step out of the shadows and into the light to compete for the top prize of the No Zone Spelling Champion, in which the winner will receive their very own No Zone Dictionary. Each contender has just 30 seconds to spell as many words correctly as possible. If you do not hear the word, simply say repeat, and the word will be repeated for you. Each correctly spelled word is worth one point. Are the rules clear? Yes. Good. Excellent. Ngangu, you're up first. Please, take your place on the spelling zone. Gangu, your 30 seconds start now. Wash. W-A-S-H. Cold. Cold. Repeat. Cold. C-O-L-D. Nurse. N-U-R-S-E. Admit. A-D-M-I-T. Tablet. T-A-B-L-E-T. -E Wound. W -W -D W O U N D. Headache. H E A D. Time is up. Well, well done. done. Step back. Yvonne, you're up next. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Yvonne, your 30 seconds start now. So. S O A P. You. A P. Disease. D I S E A S E. Cough. C O U G H. Clinic. C L I N I C. Nausea. Repeat. Nausea. N O U S I E R. Mosquito. M O S Q U I E R. Time is up. Well done. Please step back. Ima, you're up next. Please take your place on the spelling zone. Ima, your 30 seconds start now. Boil. Repeat. Boil. B O I L. Dirt. D I R D I R T. Fever. F-E-V-E-R. Vomit. V-O-M-I-T. Dosage. Repeat. Dosage. D-O-S-I-G. Medicine. M-E-D-I-C-I-N-E. -E. Stomach. S-T-O-M-A-C-H. Time is up. Well done. Ima, please step back. This was a very interesting edition of Spell It, and you'll soon find out why. I have the results, and I will reveal them in reverse order. In third position, we have, with three points, Yvonne. Please, let's give her a round of applause. Well done, Yvonne. And then, in joint first place, with a total of six points, we have Gangu, 
and Ima. And you win yourself this lovely picture. Step forward. Come on, huh? Come, ladies first. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well done. Come on with a big smile. Show everyone at home your dictionary. Congratulations. They're stand together. Exactly, exactly. Now hold them up high and give a big smile. Well done. Very good. Very good. Step back. Congratulations. And don't worry, Yvonne, you will not go home empty-handed. You will get to take home this lovely dictionary. And congratulations to the three of you because you have spelled so many words correctly. Yes, well done. I think you'll agree with me after such a tense edition of Spell It, we all need to relax with another interesting African tale. to read you an African tale about trust. It is called Simba and the Three Bulls. Don't forget to listen for this week's buzzwords. In a faraway land, there lived three strong, handsome, and proud bulls, Papito, Kipesi, and Gaduma, who did everything together. Such was their love for each other that if one of them got a stomachache, toothache, or any other disease, the others would share his pain. However, in the neighborhood lived a weak, old, hungry lion, Simba, who was bent on ruining their happiness by eating them. To his disappointment, the three bulls grew stronger and closer every passing day and Simba had many wounds to show for his defeat at their hands. Driven by his hunger and shame, Simba came up with a plan that was sure to divide them and make them vulnerable. Looking miserable and all smeared with dirt, he wobbled and coughed and vomited his way up to the three brothers. Two of them, on seeing him in this state, rolled over and had a hearty laugh. Papito, though, showed concern and he approached the lion. What's wrong, Simba? He asked. Oh, Papito, if I don't get medicine quickly, I will die. I don't know what is wrong, but I have a fever that is worse than malaria. Simba replied with as much weakness as he could. Master, it really sounded that he had a very bad disease. If I don't get a nurse to help me boil water, to clean my wounds, and to wash off the dirt that is making them worse, I will surely die. As he turned to deliver the bad news to his brothers, Gaduma and Kipesi, Simba held him back briefly and whispered something into his ear. Whatever it was, greatly shocked him and made him turn towards his brothers with suspicion in his eyes. Simba limped off proclaiming, Let me go and look for someone kind-hearted enough to offer me a brush and soap to wash the dirt off my fur, and I will die with dignity. Kipesi and Gaduma approached their brother. What did he tell you? asked Kipesi. Papito merely looked at them, then marched off swearing to be that kind-hearted animal who would nurse Simba to a dignified death, whether his brothers liked it or not. Gaduma and Kipesi were very confused by this turn of events. They spent that evening trading accusations over which one of them had caused the rift so that by the next morning, they were sworn enemies. Because of everything you have said about me, I don't want ever to talk to you again, Kipesi declared Gaduma, to which his brother responded with bitterness. And you are my sworn enemy, Gaduma. Go your way, and I'll go my way. This worked very well for Simba, who, seeing them divided, approached Kipesi, the weaker one, and called out, Kipesi, Kipesi, please hurry up, Kipesi, urged the lion. As we talk now, Monkey the Witch Doctor is about to admit your brother in his clinic. Papito has malaria. Kipesi was convinced that Simba was lying as there were no mosquitoes in the area. He started walking away from Simba. I'm going to look for my brother. I know he's not sick. Jumping up to follow Kipesi, Simba added, 
Papito has malaria and typhoid. Monkey is very concerned. Seeing that he had no choice, Kipesi agreed to walk with Simba, but gave him a warning. I hope you are not lying. If you are, you will be in trouble. Take me to him. Meanwhile, Gaduma, unable to bear the absence of his brothers, went out to search for them. He searched the forest, calling out their names until he chanced on Simba gathering firewood in the evening drizzle. He ran over to the lion and stopped. Where are my brothers? You were last seen with them. Simba quickly pointed out that he knew where the two brothers were and that they had actually taken over his cave and were going in and out as they liked, leaving him to suffer in the cold. We shall see about that, said Gaduma, and he walked with Simba towards the cave. As they entered, Simba leaned against the wall as if hiding something. What are you doing, Simba? Gaduma asked. Nothing, Simba answered. I thought I saw you covering something, Gaduma challenged. Me? Oh, no, said the lion. Why are the hoop prints only going in the cave and none are coming out? Gaduma roared. I think your brothers have not yet come out. Simba whimpered in reply. At this, Gaduma had had enough in his rage. He pinned the lion to the cave wall and bellowed, I don't believe you. They are inside, moaned the lion. I wanted to stop them until they were weak enough for me to eat. A fearful Simba quickly opened the gate, letting Joas, Papito, and Kipesi out. As the three brothers hugged and congratulated each other, Simba quickly turned and sneaked away, promising to trust each other from now on. The three bulls proudly sauntered towards the horizon, leaving Simba depressed, hungry, greatly embarrassed and alone. The end. That is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye. I'm so glad that the brothers regained their trust. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. It was great having you here today, helping us with the show. And as for you at home, we greatly enjoyed your company. Let's say goodbye to everyone at home. Bye! Bye.